day did you think this day would you would be able to finish this day and be able to go home get a good night's sleep and then figure out what tomorrow brings no i honestly thought i would have like three holes left so but then we got on six we got on 15 green and the sun was like getting below the trees and i was like what time is it but um it was like 7 25 so we played the last three pretty long but did you guys chat about it like let's finish no okay. but we did get a warning on like nine and we had just been in contact with the group in front of us and that's what i said to myself was they're just trying to get us in so yeah yeah could, could you read yeah. the green on that last part uh no but <laughs> i don't i don't have great eyes in the dark and i don't know if it would help me on that one anyway so but i did know it was supposed to go left at the end i can tell you that right now and it didn't and, and that's okay and a good thing the horn blew good thing you hadn't taken your putter back yeah exactly the exactly <laughs> and it was close yeah yeah, yeah. What, uh, what did you expect coming out of today with, you know, the conditions being so much drastically different, uh, at least in terms of the rain and not being here and, uh, and, you know, what was different for you today? Yeah, it was different than I expected. It was a lot firmer than I expected, um, which was great. I just didn't set my expectations there, but I just didn't have my best game and putts. I didn't, I had more good putts than bad putts and I didn't make as many, so but that's okay. But I, off the tee and into the green, I wasn't quite as sharp, so. Can you uh, talk about what happened on the double? Yeah, I hit it in the left bunker. And then I don't really know if I hit it thin or what, but it hit the lip, went like 30 feet in the air and plugged in like under the lip. And then I chunked it out. And the next shot after that was actually kind of interesting. It was into the wind and off the right. Um, and I hit it what I thought was a pretty good number and I hit it like 18 yards long I mean on the green but I was like oh didn't get that wind right um but yeah I mean all in all it wasn't a clean double but it could have been worse I guess so a little more up and down today but at the end of the day you're right there how do you feel about your position yeah I mean I I think I played solid and kind of like I was saying just playing a complete golf tournament I don't know if I would if this round writes me out of that, I, I mean, I shot two over, but I felt like I didn't play it all that bad. So, yeah, I mean, and then that's just really my goal. And I want to keep putting good and hit it a little better off the tee tomorrow. So, is it a little bit unnerving walking out of here not really knowing what the scenario will be for tomorrow? No. Um, as far as like 18, like 18 versus 54. 36. Oh yeah, I didn't yeah. think about that. Um, and yeah. does it matter to you? Uh, I'm glad I finished my round like I did with that in mind. I hadn't thought about that, but it would look a lot worse being three off if, or, you know, three or four off if there was just 18 left. So, um, I don't know, kind of, I guess, makes me grateful that I finished how I did, so. But yet you have a history of finishing in final rounds of this thing. And so, you know, no matter how many holes we're looking at for tomorrow, you have to feel pretty confident with what lies ahead. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess I would just say, like, a lot of guys in this field play 36 whole days. Um, a lot of guys have probably played this course more than me. But, um, I, you know, like I said, just hoping and going to kind of think about how to hit my driver a little straighter and then from there just make putts and compete. So I think, like, tomorrow, I like tomorrow as a day every year just because it comes down to competing. Mm -hmm. um, even if you're a little off, like no one's going to be super sharp. And if they are, they're just going to go take it and you can't do much about that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's why I think it's one of my favorite days. So, and chasing Adam Miller at this point, um, you know, a guy who you're probably familiar with because he's been lurking right there a long time, uh, the last five years, um, your thoughts on him and, and being, you know, him being the guy to chase. Yeah. I don't, I haven't played with Adam in so long. Um, like, I don't even know if I was, if I could drive. Um, so <laughs> I don't really know what to expect. I mean, he's a great player, uh, plays a lot of events. Um, so I know he's really competitive, so it'll, it'll shape up to be good tomorrow, but. But that's what you walked into here. I mean, this is one of the most competitive fields ever. It's yeah. shaping up to be perhaps, you know, one of the highest, you know, scores ever. Um, you know, this is typically a tournament that requires a, a deep, 
low number. And yeah. if that hasn't happened yet, it may not, given the way the course is playing. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, that's definitely what you sign up for. We knew the field was pretty deep, too, coming up here. So, and I mean, just getting to play this course in the tournament, that's, I think that's why everyone who is on the fence about playing is playing. So, that still has 18 slash 36 tomorrow. So, you know, that's all good. Awesome. Thanks, Harrison. Yeah, thank you.